One of the most robust findings in all of psychoneuroimmunology research is that stress causes inflammation. So purely psychological things happening in the brain can cause increases in cytokines in the body. In my lab and in others across the globe, we study the effects of stress on inflammation by asking people to come into the lab and give a 10-minute off-the-cuff speech about why they'd be a good candidate for their dream job. We see that levels of cytokines in the body have increased. In the absence of anything physically wrong with the body, a purely psychological stressor is causing the inflammatory response to activate. So it's not just that our immune systems are sending signals to our brain, but also our brains are sending signals to our immune systems. And because of that, if we then feel exhausted and we don't want to go anywhere or see anyone or do anything, those symptoms are likely just our immune systems telling our brains to feel depressed and to withdraw from social interactions so that we stay at home to rest, relax, and recuperate. We don't have to agonize over why we're maybe feeling a little down on ourselves or a little distant from other people. In the coming days, we'll be feeling much more like ourselves again as our cytokine levels go back down.